What is your understanding of the word love, Patricia? Well, you'd think with my last name that yes. I'd have really good understanding of this word, but I had to learn the understanding of it. And love to me is an emotion, obviously, and it's one of the deepest emotions that you can feel. It can be a love for a person or a love for a flower or a love for an animal that's basically unconditional. And I think I... I would use that word unconditional with love because love to me, if you truly love and care about something or somebody, then it's unconditional. That's how I usually use the word love, yeah, unconditional first. And that a lot of times I, not too often, but I have asked the question about if it is possible to love unconditionally from a conditioned mind, conditioned state of being, which we are now. That is true. You, you tend to learn to do this. If you're open to love and open to conditional or unconditional and understanding what the differences of it. I find that a lot of people just go into love just thinking love is love. So you wrote the book, Seen and Unheard, A Little Girl's Journey from Silence to Empowerment. Two initial questions. How did you become a writer and what was the main inspiration and intention of writing your book? I've actually been writing, doing poems, doing kind of lyrics and keeping them to myself all my life. And it's funny, I pulled some out uh, that I've actually put away and, and like, oh my gosh, look at me. I did do that. I did do this. But this particular book was something that was inside of me for quite a while. I felt I needed to write it for continued growth for continued vulnerability, to uh, help uh, other women that maybe have had some similar stories like mine or can reflect on my stories that makes them think about their own lives. And that was my intention, is to create really also a platform to motivate uh, women and girls to realize that their voice needs to be heard because they matter and they never should be marginalized or dismissed or yeah. overlooked. Would you like to add anything, Patricia, or we'll read a passage in your book before I ask you my final questions? Yeah, I would love to read a passage in my book. It's actually about words matter. My internal compass as to what was right had been muffled by so many opinions, I couldn't seem to figure out what it was that I believed. I took the information I was given from words and subsequent actions and formed stories to support my biases. Looking back, I endured quite a bit of mental and emotional chaos, what I now know to be a form of abuse. But growing up, it was simply all I knew. Often we, when we hear the word abuse, we think of broken bones and bruises, but mental abuse can be just as, if not more, detrimental long-term. The incessant negative chatter leaves holes in the soul and becomes what I call a silent killer of the mind. Thank you so much for your courage, for the compassionate work, generous. I love the way you express your truth, Patricia. 